All right, guys. Uh, I don't have much time left on this camera, but I'm gonna try to change oil in this skid steer. I've never changed the oil since I've had it, and it's been what, three years. And usually, I'm pretty good about changing oil, but this one, I don't use it much. And whenever I do use it, I'm usually just ready to put it up and go to the house. But today, I've been playing around, got it warmed up. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change it because I've had the oil now for months. So, to get to the drain plug on this one, you got to remove these two bolts to get this access panel off. Once you get the bolts off, you can see the plug right there. You just take that plug out and it should drain right out. So, I'm going to get the access panel off and see if we can drain it. Well, that wasn't no problem. A 9 16th wrench. We'll be able to just take one out, leave one loose. So we can get a little door out of the way. That allowed access to our plug. And there's our oil. I don't know how much oil goes into this machine. I've got two gallons of Dello. And I don't normally use Dello. I like Rotella. But uh, Dello was on sale when I went to the store. So, Dello is what's going in here. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this drained out. Our filter is real easy to get to. It's right there. I'll just get a, a big channel locks on that. Change it out. Here's the oil and filter. The filter has come from Napa. It's a 1334. Napa Gold. Of course, the Dello is a 15W40 diesel motor oil. So, we get this draining and drained out, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. So, here's what I'm using to get the, the oil filter off. This is a big pair of channel locks and I have used these things to get oil filters off brand new vehicles that I couldn't get off of a filter wrench and this one's coming off pretty easily so got big big comparably there's my hand and I have a fairly good size hand so yeah that's at least 12 15 inch pair of channel locks so this is probably going to make a little bit of a mess. Yanmar, genuine parts. I like somebody puts genuine parts on the vehicle. It looks like it'll work, and this one's a little bit thicker, but uh, the inside looks the same. It don't look like we've got much more than a gallon of oil in this thing, so. We'll start with a gallon and the oil fills right on top of the valve cover like most vehicles. And I'll uh, get this on there and of course you always want to oil up your fil uh, gasket and always make sure the old gasket comes off with the old filter and it did. Because you will have a mess that don't. So anyway, I'm going to get this on and I'll let you know how much oil it takes. All right, guys, <clears throat> got everything back buttoned up, and I put a gallon of oil in here, and that was quite dirty, and a gallon of oil will get us in the cross, the cross marks, cross hatch. So... I'm going to let it sit, and if I can get this back in here, and uh, of course I'll probably have to put a little more back in it when I run it, get some in the filter. But anyway guys, well, here's another place to fill the oil right there, but uh, I just use this one, it's a lot easier, because it takes a long funnel. And the only thing bad about this funnel is it's small. It 
takes a long time for oil to drain. I had to keep stopping and letting it catch up. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and please rate and comment.